Hey gang, in this video I'm going to cover quickly how to partition rectangles for help with multiplication problems. I'm going to keep this one pretty simple and I'm going to keep it pretty short, so let's get into the video. If you're posed with a problem like 47 times 6 equals, in this case, y, you could solve it by partitioning a rectangle. So you draw a rectangle as a sketch. And this is based on the, the idea of how to find area. Right? We worked on this before, so we'll put 6 over here on the short side. We'll put 47 on the long side, but we need to split 47 into the two numbers that make it up. That would be the number 40 and the number 7. Then we simply solve it. 6 times 40, 240. 6 times 7, 42. We add up our two partial products here, 240 and 42, and we can figure out that 47 times 6 equals 282. Right? Pretty simple. Let's look at another one. In this case, we'll take 53 times 8. We're going to sketch out a rectangle again. Put 8 on the short side. We'll put 53 on the long side, but we need to split 53 into the two numbers that make up 53. That would be 50 and 3. 8 times 50 is 400. 8 times 5 is 40. Add the other 0, that's 400. 8 times 3 is 24. 400 plus 24 equals 424. Really simple strategy. Now you could take this and extend it. You can extend this to multiply a two-digit number times a two-digit number. So let's look at 26 times 53. Partitioning the rectangle still works. It's just you need to draw a bigger rectangle because we're going to put more numbers in it. So we'll put 26 on the short side. We'll put 53 on the long side. But now we need to split the rectangle two ways. So I'm going to split it this way and split 53 into the two numbers, 50 and 3. And I'm going to split it this way, and I'm going to partition it so that I can split 26 into 20 and 6. Now, in this box up here, I'm going to multiply 20 times 50. Basic fact is 2 times 5 is 10. Add my two zeros. So 20 times 50 is 1,000. Over here in this box, I'm going to do 20 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. Add 1 0. Down on the bottom, I'm going to, in this box, I'm going to do 6 times 50. Well, 6 times 5 is 30. Add the 1 0 from 50. And over here, I'm going to do 6 times 3. That's 18. Now I add everything up. 1,000 plus 300 is 1,300. 1,300 plus 60 is 1,360. 1,360 plus 18 is 1,378. The method works even for doing a double digit times a double digit. Hopefully this comes in handy. Maybe you'll want to rely on this strategy until you get a little bit better with partial products or a little bit better when you finally learn traditional two digit times two digits. Good luck. And feel free to access this video anytime you need help.